Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to the shop. Today we're talking plane iron test. I have 24 plane irons that have all been tested and we finally have the results. Let's dive in. I know people hate it when I drone on and on about all the intricacies and the fun things I learned in the spreadsheet and all of that, so today we're just gonna jump into it. The all-around best iron is the PMV-11. It surpassed everything else and is a phenomenal, phenomenal iron. So Veritas PMV-11, it is my top all-around iron. Second up, the Lee Nielsen. It just barely was edged out by the PMV-11. It is a phenomenal iron and they did some crazy good work on this. Surprisingly, number three was actually Wood River. Um, affordable iron and did really, really well. It was only slightly edged out by the Lee Nielsen. So for best price, the Wood River is really, really good. But one of the big surprises is for best price, you're probably gonna wanna go with Callistro. This is a dirt cheap iron that you can actually get on Amazon. Uh, they come in sets of six and they come out to about $6 a piece. Incredibly cheap, but held up phenomenally well. It was only a little ways down the list, but for six bucks, you just can't beat that. Now in this video, I wanna keep it short because this channel is more or less for the average YouTube watcher. So uh, if you want more detail, I have a second channel where I'm going to go into crazy detail and talk through all the items and go into the spreadsheet and intricacies. Uh, so if you wanna see that, go down below. Also, if you're interested in tool talks and actually learning and the, the teaching that goes behind everything, I have a whole second channel that's dedicated to that. Would by right how to, as in the, the number two, it's the second channel. So if you wanna see that as well as far more information on the overview of the iron test, go on over there. Also, if you wanna see the actual test being done, I've got a video dedicated to that where I talk through the whole testing procedure of how everything was done and show it in, in change. That was the initial video when I first got started. I do have a second video where I come through and I talk through what are the changes in the, the actual testing. So I'll leave a link to those videos down below. And if you really wanna get into it and see the actual testing, I have a live video where I went through with one of these irons and actually went through the whole thing step by step live so you could see the actual specifics of how the test was done. I know a lot of people like that, so that's all on another channel. So with all that being said, I do want to go over and take a look at the spreadsheet. There are some intricacies I'd like to point out in this video, but again, if you want to see far more detail, the second channel, I'm actually going to be going through the spreadsheet in crazy amount of detail, showing out all the fun things we learned. So we are over here at the spreadsheet, and this is where all the magic happens. You can see all of the irons that were tested. There are 24 of them listed down the side, and then in each one of them I have the information, um, how, uh, where can you find it, what is its price, what's its thickness, its width, um, and all of these sharpness and variables. I'm not gonna be going into all of these numbers over here because this is just a crazy amount of information. But if you wanna see it in chart form, you can come over here and uh, actually look at what all of these are. The one oddball was this one, the, uh, the Harbor Freight that went way off the chart don't buy Harbor Freight irons. That was trash. I had to remove that from this chart so you could actually see some of the detailed differences between them. So you can see there really wasn't a huge amount of difference. Yes, they're kind of spread out here, but if you come up to this chart, you can see there isn't that big a difference between irons. On these ones down here, we've got the Veritas PMV-11, what I consider to be the, the best all around. Uh, Wood River was second, and the Lee Nielsen third. Um, depending upon what numbers you use in the chart, I'll be looking at that here in a moment. Uh, this actually breaks down, but you can see how they all come out and, and where they are in this, this place. One of the big surprises was this one over here, IBC. Most people consider that to be a really high-end iron. The one I had was very poor. Um, yeah, I'm not using IBC. Again, all of these other numbers and charts, I'm going to be going into that on the check second channel. I'm not going to worry you with that. But I do want to take you back over here to the beginning and show you this. This is how you actually determine what is best for you. I have put in here waiting for the things that are interest to me. So we have price. For me, that's a 6 out of 10. That's rather important, but not crazy important for me. Um, thickness, a lot of people really worry about how thick it is so there's less chatter. Um, it's not really important to me. Keenness, in other words, how sharp can you actually absolutely get it. That one I really don't care about. The initial sharpness, so this is how quickly does it become no longer a smoothing plane sharpness. Um, so that initial window of how long does that really sharp edge last. That one's relatively important to me, so I give that a seven. The final sharpness, this is the overall durability. How durable is the iron? I'm gonna give that a 10 because that's the most important to me. 
sharpenability, how easy is the blade to sharpen? Um, if you are in whetstones, this may be very important to you. For diamonds, it's not that big a deal because diamonds cut most all irons really quickly. Um, so for me, it's a two, it's not that important. And then hardness. Some people really, really care about exactly how hard the iron is. Um, for me, I really don't care. So if you want to actually change these numbers and see what comes out for you, come up here to File, Make a Copy, and you can actually make a copy of this and edit it. This particular one that I have a link to down below, you can't change this because this is my file. <laughs> so I don't want anyone going in and changing the original, but you can make a copy and then change these numbers to fit your desires. So if you really care about hardness, you could make that at a 10. And then you'll see this chart down here change. Oh look, now let's change some things. Or you could come over here and say price. Price is incredibly important to me. That is a 20. Um, price is the most important by far. And you can see there's big changes in here now. So now Callistro is number one overall. Uh, PMV11 is close, but that's still because this is up at 10. So you can change these numbers to anything you want. You could even make them negative numbers. Uh, for me, price is negative 10. Um, and you can see, oh my, Harbor Freight, don't buy it. <laughs> So this way you can come through and edit the chart to make it specific to you. What variables in the iron are important to you and find out which ones actually stand out the most. So there is a very, very quick run through on the iron test. This had a lot of surprises in it to me and there were some very interesting things comparing some of the old steel like old Sheffield and the Sweethearts uh, to some of the new fangled ones. And some of these are actually pre-released. There are three of these irons that aren't available to the general public yet, but I got a, hand, a hold of them so I could actually test them. So there's a crazy amount of information on this and that spreadsheet I just touched the very, very tip of the iceberg. If you want to see more on that, go over to the second channel and I'm going to be going into that in detail. It's going to be a very long video, but there was a, uh, there was a lot of things that I learned on this that were very eye-opening. So I'm going to be going into a lot of those specifics. But for this channel, for making things short and sweet, I hope you like this. If you do have any questions, comments, ideas, thoughts, let, let me know that down below. This whole test took an immense amount of time and was quite expensive. Most of these plain irons I actually purchased myself, uh, though some of them are on loan from other people. So if you would like to help out with that, because I probably have about uh, $1,000 to $1,200 into this project, I am actually selling the shavings from this test. So if you want to buy some of the actual tested shavings, uh, they, all the donations then go to offset the price of this. So thank you for that. And as always, I want to say thank you to the patrons on Patreon. Without you, this channel would not exist. And just keeping videos coming on a regular basis and putting out four videos a week, thank you for that. If you'd like to find out more about Patreon, there's links to that down below. Or you can click the join button, become a member here on the channel. Say thank you to anyone who's scrolling over here on the side. They're quite literally keeping the lights on. So I think that'll about do it for today. And until next time, have a wonderful day. I don't care what you have to say. This is not a plain video.